Thank you, Your Majesty. Ah, the least I could do for someone whose timeless musical arrangements have delighted all of England, even if they are often tarnished by such crude diatribes. Your Majesty, I, I thank you for saying so, but I wish you would avoid offending my writing partner. He is, after all, five feet away from you. No, not at all. <laughs> Oh, probably something terribly treasonous. Anyway, I hate to be so rude, but, well, I have many crude diatribes to, perform, to compose. Ta-ta! <laughs> Sullivan, I do wish to urge you to consider putting your great talents to more uh, refined efforts. The truly enduring classical composers didn't get very far writing trivial social commentary. as full of charlatans whose egos must be stroked. All aspects of society are derided and provoked by great actors who know not of what real politics entail. They just know how to wear a wig and sing their simple major scales. Do Full of jabs and puns all long in the tooth, and it's put up by pretenders who proclaim it all to truth. And even when the mood shifts to a moment well affecting, the actors can't stop yelling, though they call it projecting. The that enthrall. A music just belongs to melodrama overwrought. Why sing what you are thinking when light opera has no fault? <laughs> I seek sophistication in epic drama and romance. I have a rich distaste for silly showy song and dance. No subtlety or nuance, just bombastic stimulation. When the audience gets bored by dance, strike up the orchestration. <laughs> Populist and regal forms of art, which leads 
leaves are rather well equipped to tear them all apart. Which leaves be rather well equipped to tear them all apart. Which leaves are rather well equipped to tear them all apart. I patronize what populists and read of all the war. Which leaves are rather well equipped to tear them all Very well. It's always great to see you, Jesse. Oh, can you see me from way up there in the clouds? <laughs> oh. Jesse, I've been thinking. <laughs> you and I get on so well, don't we? Oh, we do. Each of us always knows what the other is going to say. Well, I don't, don't know, know about, about that. that. <laughs> see, it's like we're of the same mind. The engineering firm keeps me living comfortably, so I was thinking. Two people who get along as well as we do. Well, why don't we get married? Lewis! I know I don't have a ring yet, but... But, Lewis, I can't give up all this. I have a great career here with Mr. Gilbert. I can't abandon the stage right now. But maybe later. <laughs> maybe. Okay, I'll check back. <laughs> How about now? No! <laughs> I'm serious. Your behavior in front of the queen was foolhardy. She's had men hanged for that. Oh, a simple jest, my dear Sullivan. I don't understand why you can't be civil around the upper classes. Why you must always ridicule and demean. Because the upper classes are pompous asses. <laughs> Ineffective harebrains who are where they are based on an accident of birth and who completely lost touch with real life. They sit in their ivory towers, gazing longingly at their money and wishing they had more of it. Feeble minds of cheap jokes. All right, all right. <laughs> well, they do throw great parties. I'm yeah. aware. <clears throat> I'm off to help George with his solo. Yeah. Best of luck. With good humor and sharp tongue, I mock and satirize noble egos, harshly stung at each verse and reprise. Which fully lights my fire, earn respect of the quite elective British upper classes. Yes, the British upper classes. In short, although I've made some pounds from taking words and adding sounds, I just can't fit in here in Britain. I stay among the masses. Yes, I stay among the masses. I'm handsome, rich, and funny, but I'll never be old money. Yes, I'm handsome, rich, and funny, but I'll never be old money. I just want to be old money here. It would be sweeter than honey, dear. My skies would be sunny, dear, if I just were old money, dear. I never worry about my health, this richness, and then there's wealth. If I were old money and I had a sonny, he'd be old money too. Yes, he'd be old money too. We'd be on top of society, we'd be treated with propriety. Regardless of merit, my son would inherit and watch as his money grew. Yes, watch as his money grew. I'm handsome, rich, and funny, but I'll never be old money. Yes, I'm handsome, rich, and funny, but I'll never be old money. I just want to be old money, dear. It would be sweeter than honey, dear. My skies would be sunny, dear, if I just were old money, dear. The world just esteems you. I see. I 
might seem so overzealous, but I'm not because I'm jealous. Yes, I seem so overzealous, but I'm not because I'm jealous. I just want to be old money, dear. It would be sweeter than honey, dear. My skies would be sunny, dear, if I just were old money, dear. And though I won't have any next of kin, upper class respect I will win. I'll be a great them, but then I'll be high class and new money. Some more. 